Update tonight, it's been five months since the Black Lives Matter mural in Uptown was painted on the street. During that time, South Tryon has been closed to traffic, but soon it will reopen again. Tonight, our Hunter Signs joins us now with the vote from city leaders and the rough road it took to get there. Hunter. Sarah, tonight you can walk right alongside this Black Lives Matter mural in the heart of Uptown, but it is the last time you can do this because in just a matter of hours, this mural will be open to cars. They'll be driving right over it after Charlotte City leaders gave them the green light to do so after a heated debate. Charlotte's Black Lives Matter mural could soon fade away. This block of South Tryon will reopen to cars on Tuesday. The goal was always to make it temporary, was never to, to, to keep it in that. Charlotte City Council voted to reopen the block in a 10 to 1 vote, but not before hearing from those who wanted it to remain a pedestrian plaza. It just shows that the city is not going to stand behind what they were standing behind when it was put there. But some businesses, including McCormick and Schmicks, says since this road closed, they've lost revenue after trying their best to bounce back from a pandemic. Clear and safe access to our property is paramount to the success of our fourth quarter. Some council members sided with those sentiments. We can't just do a half effort to close our streets and make it more pedestrian friendly. We need a real one. But in the meantime, we need to give those businesses uptown a chance to survive. So I'll be supporting it. While others say it's a slap in the face to those who protested for representation and change. By opening up the street and letting um, uh, 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 the Black Lives Matter mural fade away, um, we are saying that McCormick and Schmidt's uh, uh, ballet uh, matters more uh, than black lives right now. A painted message once protected, but not anymore. Now, some city council members say they know once this opens back up to traffic, the mural will be vandalized. They just know it will. It was already vandalized months ago after hours after rather being painted. Now, city staff does want to move this mural elsewhere and they want to make South Tryon Street a pedestrian only zone, but they want more time to plan that. Sarah. So Hunter, another long awaited decision broke out of city council tonight. Eastland is officially going to be constructed. That's right, Sarah. This is now decade in the making, but finally the residents overwhelmingly are excited about this. Eastland will be developed into that major league soccer esque type of place. It includes practice fields out there for that team and for the community to use, as well as restaurants, retail, affordable housing projects and townhomes. Again, a lot of people excited. Those two agreements were unanimously passed tonight, Sarah. All right, Hunter, thank you for that update.